Hi everyone. Um, what I'm going to be doing now is um, altering this wooden frame. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to, I've made made up this. I made it up a while ago, and I used it the other day, which is the purple. Uh, yes, it's purple. <laughs> the background, and um, <coughs> I use it in the b um, the fairyland. But um, I want to use it again in this. I am going to do something with it, so it won't be all be purple. I've not primed the back of this at all. Um, I know a lot of people do, but I don't feel you have to. So I'm just quickly covering it with this colour. And what it is, it's just a beaded gel. It's not a beaded gel, it's just a gel. <laughs> Oh, I'll get it right. Um, <laughs> it's just a gel. Not with it. I have got some in, uh, with the beads. That's why I thought they uh, said that. Right. Now, what I'm going to do first is just dry that off. <laughs> right. What I've done now is I've just... Um, dab that on now now I've put a coat underneath I've just dabbed that on and um, let me just pop this back in my thing I'm trying to clear up as I use things like I've said before because otherwise I mean my desk last night after that last night it was horrendous and I thought oh, I'll get it clean before it gets worse so I did right so what I've done because I, I'm not going to be painting the edges on this I'm going to be doing them a different colour so it's basically just drying this off now um, and then I'm going to decorate it I'll come back. <laughs> now what I've done is I've used some of this um it's the embossing powder, the Tropic Pearl Luster. And to put that on I've just used the uh Judikins embossing ink. And um I've just dabbed it on it, you know, generally. <coughs> Not in any particular way, shape or form. And I'm just embossing that on now. And then I'm going to go over the areas I've just done. So I want to highlight that a little bit more. Because I just randomly did it. I haven't... Um, and then just take the uh, luster again. The embossing powder. And just go over that. Like that. That's all I've got left of that stuff. I absolutely love it and use it a lot. I'm just going to sit that there in case I need it again. But I think this should do. I just wanted to bring out a nice pearl luster to this. Right, what I've got now... <coughs> um, I've got some of this foliage here. Some berries. I've got some little red roses some of these white um, sprays and I've also got some like poppy type flowers so what I'm going to do now is decorate the frame and here's the frame all uh, glittered just going to give it a wipe over you see and what I like about this um, is the sheen that's on it now and it's just I'm not sure if you can see that it's uh, come up really nice so I do like that and it's got like a nice pearlescent colour to it so what I'm going to do um, hmm, let me just see I need to start with one of these at the back 
and I am going to start it long. So I'm just going to clip that, run some glue down the spine of the, um, the flower, take that bit off, and then place that on there like that. And I can bend that where I want it, how I want it. I'm then going to take a little bit of foliage here. Yeah, that'll do. And what I'm going to do is just glue the frame, basically. Like that. And just attach that. Like that. And then just clip off the bottom here. And then to that, I am going to use a couple of these. And I'm not going to colour them, I just want them white, so that's fine. Just glue the back. Like that. And again, do the same with another one. Do it like that. That one straight up. Like that. I'm sort that out in a minute. And then what I'm going to do is pop some of these little berries in here. I'm just going to tuck them there like that. And then going to add a little bit more foliage. And just tuck that behind that there. And then to that I'm going to add another one of these. And I do like these flowers. They are quite pretty. I like a poppy. And just bend that over so it can be seen properly. And pop that like that. And then the cream one, what I'm going to do with that is to bend that with the head again, trim that off. And just, I might try and sit that behind actually, just there, that's better. Any bits that I don't want, just trim off. I am being quite bold with this, as you can see. Nice big flowers. Um, and then what I'm going to do is just slot in here and there some small roses. Bend the backs of them, get the look I'm looking for, a little bit of glue on the back, poke that in there, like that, paint that one in there. might put a third one in. Time are we on? Oh, fine for a minute. Just sit that one there. Like that. And then I'm going to just put a few berries at the bottom. Right, 
there. And then here, what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to add a bow. And um, that's the picture frame that I've done. Uh, I like that because I like lots and lots of flowers. I love flowers, me. Um, <laughs> can't you tell I make so many? But I think that with the photographing is going to look absolutely stunning. Uh, I have put some more little red flowers in the roses. Um, and just done a little organza bow, like a triple bow. Um, and that's it. Got the bits in that I want. Let's pull it out there. Like that. I think that looks quite nice. I could have had them coming down here, but that would have been too much because these are quite big flowers. So I like what I've done. And uh, just to show you basic techniques.